Hey guys, Patriot with you tonight. Um, I'm just out here doing a little uh, late afternoon, evening hike. I've actually had my dinner already. And uh, I just come out to uh, see some wildlife. So far there's lots of it. Lots of uh, spring babies out here. Oh, what do we got right there? Coyote. And uh, I don't have a tripod tonight. I'm just freehanding it here. Okay, I was about to head over the hill here, and uh, I found this little uh, den or resting place. Doesn't actually have a tunnel, but uh, he was sheltering in there. It's very shady, well protected from uh, the sun. Nice little home he's got. Well, it's probably a little bit late, and uh, the sun's below the horizon. But I thought I'd come out here and check on the uh, saguaro cactus where my uh, red-tailed hawk was uh, living for a while and just see what's out there, see the condition of the nest. Um, I thought I'd kind of stick to areas that I know real well. I recognize trees and saguaros because uh, it'll be dark by the time I come out of here. And uh, it's nice to have uh, real good knowledge of exactly where you're at. So um, I'm just gonna keep trucking along. I'm still heading out. I left my bike back behind me. And there's our nest up there. Uh, actually picking up the light here pretty good. It's getting a bit dark right now as you can see. So I thought what I'd do is uh, head out there towards where that uh, those owls were and uh, I'm just gonna shed hunt along the way. Something I have to do periodically with these uh, snake gators on is take them off and brush my leg off because what happens when I'm walking debris will fall into the top end of it here and then it just rests between the, the uh, hard snake leg, leg and my and my uh, my shin, and uh, you know you get little thorns and thickets in there. It starts to tear you up a little bit. Nice, very cool. I'm getting spoiled out here. Now this was a, a year old. You can see this end has been nibbled off here real good. You can kind of see it here in perspective to my foot. Nice little three point shed. Definitely something that I'll keep. Well, that's the uh, saguaro where the owls were. Raise my camera up as high as I can get it here. They're right up at the very top up there. Real good protection from uh, wind. Rain, they're still gonna get wet, but uh, when they were real young, mom and dad get in there and protect them. I'll show you another saguaro right here next door. Crazy shape to it. But you can hear some baby woodpeckers up there. And the uh, poop running down the side there kind of gives them away. Not much gonna get them up there though. Now it's still rather warm out here. It's about 92, 94 degrees still. So I am going at a nice steady walking pace.
It's about 55, 60 yards away. A baseball cap is real helpful when you've got these skylight conditions because you can pull it down and block out the sky. Now as that temperature drops a little bit and now that that sun is down, there's a chance that I'll see uh, a, a snake or two coming out of here. So I'm just going to keep my eyes open, keep my ears open, and uh, do my best not to step on one. Skylight goes away. <laughs> that hair sock's funny. There's Saturn up there, out in the western sky. Real good navigational aid. Especially early in the evening. Okay, I kind of re... That's the uh, Harris hawk you hear out there. sitting on top of that swarrow up. Can't really see exactly where that bike is. Okay guys, I got a javelina from uh, about 35 yards away from me. I've got the uh, Wolf Eyes HID light broken out, and I'm actually trying to find my bike. Um, there are at least three or four other animals. This one seems to be by itself at the moment. And yeah, if you really take them off, they can get a little bit burly. This one's medium sized. So, thing is, I gotta root around in here and f find my bike. I'm not sure exactly where it's at, I just know it's close. This is the uh, Wolf Eyes Boxer 24 watt HID at about 35 yards. So, plenty of light for the camera. And I'm about 22, 24 yards. Make sure I'm not getting flanked here. Well, it can't see much with this light on it. So I think it's choosing to just stay still. Snorting a little bit. He's got a whiff of me, he's coming towards me. Coming towards me. About 15 yards. We're just gonna stay cool. Just gonna stay cool. I can see it a lot better than it can see me. We got another one over to the right, I can hear it. It's a little bit of a problem because I need to uh, move around in here, locate the bike, so. Uh, I think I'm gonna go up top. There we go. There's number two. back home here. A bunch of debris here in the road. Oh, what do we got up there? 
Ooh. Big owl sitting on the uh, speed limit sign. I didn't get uh, get to it quick enough to film it. Well, guys, thanks for hanging with me tonight. It's a pretty uh, nice little evening hike, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.